Alright, so here we go. Before I get started with this video, I want to make sure I make it absolutely clear. The purpose of this video, the purpose of this tool is to support security and analysis research on cellular networks. Uh, I'm not encouraging anything else. In fact, for this particular setup for this video, I have everything in a controlled uh, lab environment here. And I'll, I'll explain what components I've got uh, to run this. And uh, so I just want to make sure uh, for you two, for the viewers, that that is clear and what the intent of this video is. I'll try and make sure I make it clear in the description too. I'm going to break this up into a couple different videos. This first video, I just want to show something simple. I'll show the uh, this, this open source LTE downlink and uplink tool. I will show the downlink portion of it. And so what does that mean? You can see here, we'll look at decoding the physical downlink control channels in order to obtain the downlink control information and the radio network temporary identifiers. You can see what else this is able to do. And then if I get to the point where uh, I bust out the X310, we'll look at using the API, which is a proof of concept security API that's got three tasks, which is uh, identity mapping, collecting, and capability profiling. I highly suggest reading this this paper here that I've got the link open to. It, it shows the academia, uh, the people that are involved in putting this tool together. You can kind of read some about some of the other tools. It's actually in Dragon and I've shown before. Uh, for example, Falcon. Uh, you can read how this has uh, taken it further than some of these others. You can see where it's compared against three other commercial solutions, WaveJudge, ThinkRF, and Airscope, and how uh, how expensive those are and what this is actually able to do over those um, for LTE 4G. You can read about the physical layer control structure, the frame. I'm not going to break that down in this particular video. I suggest reading here and about the different technology that's involved. Um, you can see the architecture of this particular tool, how it's working, and then there's a conclusion, well there's an experimental setup and then a conclusion in here if you read down through this paper. Alright, uh, so that's out of the way. Um, how do I get this going? Well, so in DragonOS Focal X, which is based on uh, 22.04, uh, I've had to do nothing else other than compile the tool itself, especially after some recent updates by the developer who's been very helpful. Um, how did I do that? I come down through, I skip pretty much most of the dependencies and installation and I focus on this one area here, build LTE sniffer from source. These steps here is what enabled me to build this tool and make it run. And so I've taken this tool and I've put it in a, uh, made it a deb package. And so I'll put it in the description. If you add the DragonOS Focal X PPA to your install, you will be able to install this with a sudo app install, all lowercase LTE sniffer. And then I'll show how to run the tool. So I've already got it installed on here. And again, we're going to focus on just the general downlink portion of this tool. Okay. Before I go and get this going, I'm going to set up the lab environment and I'm going to make this quick because uh, that particular laptop is getting close to dying. So we need to set up SRS RAN and we're going to do that by setting up the EPC and then we'll set up the ENB using a B205 Mini is going to be the uh, base station. I've got a Pine phone with a SIM card in it, but I'm actually concerned I don't have the SIM card configured perfectly. So either that or it's the particular OS Mobian that I have on there versus uh, another one that I've used in the past. So I'll get that sorted out for the next video, but you will see it, 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 it tries to connect and we'll use that to generate some traffic on the network. And then I have a Lime SDR, which we're going to use the LTE downlink tool with. So. I've got this set up. I've got a downlink frequency I'm going to focus on of 2680. And I'll show you here on this particular side before I switch back over. We'll look at, <clears throat> uh, let's see, here I'm going to enable the cellular on the phone. You'll see at least a, a, a quick uh, attempt to connect, possibly. Okay, and you can see the attach request 
uh, again, I may have the authentication incorrect, but uh, you can see that it's at least generating traffic, okay? And then you've got the on the right hand side the ratch and the information that is over here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it back off a second. I'll jump back over to the side where we are going to run the LTE tool on. And when I run this tool, I'm just going to run it in the desktop. I can run it anywhere, but wherever I run it, it's going to output these PCAP files and some other information here, statistics and stuff. And then we'll set up we'll set up Wireshark and we'll open those. Okay. So again, I'm running the tool direct because I have the the um, the Debian package installed. I know you install it with all lowercase, but just the way I put it together, the tool is actually ran just like you see it there. I'm doing the dash A for one antenna for the Lime SDR uh, threads of four, my frequency, the downlink 2680E6. I've got that dash C for the cell search, which I probably don't need because I know what it is. And then the dash M uh, zero for the downlink. If you wanted to see all the features of this particular binary this tool which is actually pretty unique I like how it's all built into one tool using different um, components of SRS RAN and Falcon and some other things so you can see how um, how robust this tool is in these features that you can enable I'm just gonna keep it simple for this first video we'll go into more detail in later but so let's see let's run this uh, tool without the dash H and so we're going to look at that downlink. We'll see if you pay attention. Uh, it, it is using Soapy and the, and the Lime. And um, I know there's uh, some warnings there, but we're decoding that MIB. We're processing the subframes, which you can read what the subframes are, what the RNTI is, which it's going to probably be blank right now, like the 64 QAM, 256 QAM. You can read more about that. Uh, and I'll probably explain it in a later video, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect that phone back to here so we can see that we got that RNTI and some activity um, here probably on the next go around here. So, okay, so we see the RNTI, the active, we got some information being populated here. I'll let this run a little longer, uh, and then we're going to jump over to Wireshark. Okay. All right, that's that's good enough. I, I think we get we get the idea. We're we're uh, decoding the downlink channel here. This will get more robust uh, when I uh, do the downlink and the uplink and bring in some more uh, expensive um, hardware. All right, so I'm going to stop this for now, and you'll see that processes that information, dumps it in the PCAP file. So. What do we do now? Well, let's let's open up Wireshark, which is also installed in Dragon OS, so everything is here for you. And we'll do the downlink mode PCAP. And so you're going to get this uh, check your preferences protocols DLT user. If you look back at the project page and you come up and you look in the PCAP file example Wireshark configuration one we'll see we need to set some settings on here we can do that under file actually sorry edit preferences protocols DLT user edit the encapsulations table and we'll add like four on here we'll start at the first one We'll do mac-lte-framed. And again, this project is very detailed on this documentation uh, to help set all this and configure all this up. So greatly appreciate that. We'll go one, three, and two. We should be set up. Say okay. Now we're going to start seeing the information populated, and we'll go to analyze. Let me think. Enabled protocols, and type in LTE. And I'm going to check mark the three UDP boxes here. So now we have our Wireshark configured. We're looking at our downlink PCAP. We can see the SIB two three, the system information block. Um, you could probably come down through here 
and see some additional activity I would guess when the uh, when we had some activity on the network there might not be a lot right now uh, until I get that phone configured right we see RNTI we got connection information there we go we've got our um, RNTI information let's see now if I had probably set up uh, and, and did some actual activity on the network I would imagine we'd get uh, some more information we got our UE, UE contention resolution identity connection set up and you can just keep drilling down into here to learn again about security analysis and how this uh, LTE network works and so I mean I, you could learn so much from here uh, just just in this little uh, network setup here all right so uh, Mac LTE I think I already did that one um, yeah you could sit here all day and and read and and experiment um, with breaking down Wireshark and those PCAPs. Now it's going to get far more interesting with the uh, downlink and uplink at the same time and especially if you're bringing that X310 in. Uh, okay alright so that should show you how to get up and going and at least doing the downlink with this tool. There is some really uh, interesting uh, capabilities in this tool uh, and I hope to show that later. All right, hope that helps.